All right, y'all. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video, super different video. We're going to do some maintenance on the truck. Now my truck's been giving me problems with the um, battery or whatever it is. It's not turning over. Um, try to turn the truck up. It, it won't even try to turn over. It's not like a clicking sound or anything. It's like a doop, doop, and it won't even, uh, it, we thought, thought it was a battery. So I took it in, got everything tested. So here is the, the final uh, inspection real quick. Let me just get this out of the here it is. So check engine light pass, ABS pass, everything's good over here. Um, also checked the battery, everything passed there, starter passed and alternator passed. So um, come to a conclusion that it's probably going to be my starter relay. And um, I'm going to open up the fuse box, find the starter relay. It's like maybe a five to six hour part. Hopefully that's what changes it. Um, and the truck can be running good again. But sometimes like when I started up, it won't turn over. And last night at the concert, it, it wouldn't even, it was like dead. And I was like, oh shoot, it's a battery. But we took the battery, I'll test it. The battery changed like a year ago. It's 99% charged. So it's definitely not the battery. It's not swollen or anything. It doesn't smell bad. So not the battery. So hopefully it's the starter relay because it's a super cheap part. Um, but we're going to, you know, do that and see if that works because everything else looks fine. Like there's nothing that could be bad. It's not the spark plugs or anything. It's not the battery. It's not the starter alternator. Um, there's no check engine light or anything. So everything passed on inspection. So I'm, I'm going to assume it's that, but we'll definitely take a look and see uh, what the actual result is. Passed everything, ABS, check engine light, battery passed, starter passed, alternator passed. All right, so uh, what we've concluded is that the battery actually has some corrosion on it. So I'll take a look right here. If you look at the terminals, a lot of corrosion going on. So if your truck is having a hard time starting, look at that right there, see the corrosion going on? So that's probably why it's giving it that, uh, that hesitation when starting. So we checked the battery out, we checked the starter out, we checked the alternator, it all passed, ABS, fuel pump, everything was good. So I'm gonna clean these uh, terminals. So real quick, what I got is some baking soda right here, like a pasty type of baking soda. See how, like, see how pasty it is in there. Got a brush to help brush the terminals and then a little bit of water to clean it off when it's done. So what I'm gonna start doing first is uh, we'll disconnect the negative battery terminal first. go and we'll start on the positive now and look at that corrosion so now I'm gonna get a little a little baking soda on both Let that sit there for a bit too. And you want it like a little, you want it like kind of thick. You want it, you want it kind of thick so that it uh, holds on. Cause if it's just water, it's gonna run right off. All nice and around and you can use like a toothbrush or some kind of bristle brush anything that will kind of scrape off the corrosion same thing inside water cup And now I'm just gonna clean up this uh, paste.
make it dry. Take the dry side now. Same thing here. Take the dry side there. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put the positive back on and then I'll put the, the ground on. One thing when changing out the battery, just the battery, always make sure your ground, your negative terminal is disconnected before working with the positive terminal. So when you're taking off the battery uh, or taking out the battery, take the negative part off, take the ground out, then work on the positive. When you do it, put it back in, you do it in reverse, put the positive back on, then go ahead and work on the ground. You should never be messing with the positive uh, terminal when your negative is uh, already on. So we're gonna go ahead and put that red one back on like that. And now we're gonna go and we're just gonna tighten this up. There we go. And this cover is gonna go on because the cover is gonna protect it. Actually, the reason why I got so corroded is because the cover wasn't even on. I didn't even notice. But now we'll go ahead and put the the ground on. Same thing. Tighten that up. There we guys go. We have a nice, hopefully, uh, better battery for more uh, power. Like I said, it was giving troubles like starting up. You know, sometimes I turn it on and it would it would uh, crank but wouldn't start. Um, sometimes it wouldn't crank at all. And so it's probably just not getting enough power because of the corrosion on the terminal. So we'll conclude that. If you have any questions, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I post new videos on the channel every single week. And if you're wondering what I've done to the truck, um, link is description down below, every every mod, 30 different mods. But truck's getting old, man. You gotta do your regular maintenance on it, right? Oil changes every 5,000 miles. Getting your air filter done, um, cabin filter replaced. Um, you know, just the small stuff like that. So it's your serpentine belt, you know, getting your tires rotated, brakes, um, rotors, all stuff like that. So catch y'all later, peace.